Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So how is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe. So today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful, beautiful wrap here. Um, it's not hard to do. You can do it. I know it looks like it could be hard. It's probably hard to see because of the white, but it is very, very lacy and very, very beautiful. Can you see that? It's like shells with lattice kind of very pretty so it is made with caran latte cakes so that is where that fuzz is coming from you see that it's beautiful beautiful hi everybody this is crystal so today i'm going to show you how to make that wrap that you saw in the picture now right here it's probably kind of hard to see because it is white but let me show you kind of up close look how gorgeous that is it's like shells with a lattice it's very beautiful and it's not hard to do at all so please do not be intimidated at least give it a go i know that you can do it once you get started it is absolutely gorgeous look at that you can also use this stitch for other things as well but i thought a wrap fit it perfect look how pretty that is look at that so i'll give you the measurements of mine and you can adjust the chain length because i'll give you the multiple for your liking so mine measures about 64 inches across and about 20 inches wide of course you can make this uh like I, uh, like i said taller or wider however you'd like isn't that a beauty isn't that a beauty that's a beauty <laughs> that is pretty works out quickly too you guys want to get started on it all right one more thing though before we start i do want to note um on your beginning chain regardless if you do my size or another size you want to make it loose uh make it make it a loose chain on the on the beginning okay that way it doesn't kind of tighten up on you it's best to have a loose chain in the beginning so let's go ahead and get started on this let's do this Okay, first off, I want to ask you not to forget to subscribe to my channel. Hey, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you have it where you uh, receive all notifications so you don't miss out on any of my videos or any of my content that I put on. I'd really appreciate it. Give this video a like and get leave a comment below. Let me know you, what you think about this uh, wrap or this shawl. Okay, so for this project, I used one of my favorite yarns, Caron Latte Cakes. Now, you don't have to use this yarn. You don't have to. But I, um, I think it works very beautiful. Um, so Karen Lattes are classified as a bulky number five. They are 58 acrylic and 42% nylon. They do have a fuzz to them, but they are not hard to work with. They are like silky, silky smooth. And when you make a mistake, it comes out very easy. Um, the color I am using is the cream. It's the white one. And there are, let's check the yardage, 530 yards per cake. And I went through a cake and not quite a half. So uh, five, probably 700 yards, 750, something like that would be, um, seven, we'll go with 750 just to be sure, of a bulky five. Now remember, you can use another weight yarn, uh, whatever weight you want. Actually, you can use a four weight or three weight. You just would need to make your chain bigger than mine. Um, however long you would want it to be, um, I'll give you the multiple. Um, but for mine, I used the hook size of a K, which is a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. If you're going to use a four weight, use a six millimeter crochet hook. And if you're going to use a three weight, if you want that nice drape on it, use a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. That would be my suggestion. So, what do you say? Let's do this. I'm going to show you in a different yarn because there's no way you're gonna, that I'm going to be able, you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing with the white Caron Latte Cakes. Okay, the yarn that I'm just going to do the sample with, I'm showing you in case you wondered, is called, it's Premier Basic. It's a medium weight number four. And the collar I have in my hand is called Sea Glass. Okay, remember this is just for the sample. That is not what I use for my project. I did use the Caron Latte. All right. So following along with me, if you want to make it the size that I did and you have the bulky five yarn and everything, um, 
you want to chain 162 stitches. Now the stitch is done in a multiple eight plus two, which means that your beginning chain needs to be evenly divisible by eight, and then you add two more. So I chain 162. 160 was evenly divisible by divisible by eight and then I added two more for a total of 162 stitches. All right so let's go ahead and begin when you get your chain of 162 made or whatever chain that you're doing in a multiple of eight plus two. So row one we're going to go ahead and start off and we're going to do a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. So remember this hook or this uh, chain on our hook does not count as a stitch so one two over and we're going to start off with a single crochet and now we will start the repeat of row one what we're going to do is do a chain of five one two three four five and then we are going to skip three stitches one two three so skip 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 and in the next one, we're going to single crochet. If I can get in there. Like that. And that is the repeat now for row one. So again, we are going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip your three stitches. Skip, skip, skip. And single crochet into the next. How easy is this? Again, repeat it. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip three stitches. Skip, 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 and single crochet into the next. Now we're going to repeat this pattern of chain five, skip three, and single crochet into the next all the way until we get to the end of the row and single crochet just like that and what you're doing is creating some chain spaces there all right so once you make it to the end of row one you should have been able to complete a, a repeat there as you can see I single crocheted here I had four chains that remain so I skipped three and single crocheted into the last so you should have a total if you're following along with me 40 of these chained five spaces now at the end of row one now we're going to start row two now rows two three four and five are the repeat rows so it is a four row repeat so let's go ahead and start row two we're going to chain one and turn our work now we're going to put one double crochet right back into the same stitch so this single crochet right here from the very from the previous row we're going to put a double crochet right into into the top of that just like that and then we're going to do a chain two one two and we're going to put a one single crochet into the next chain five space so right here into this space we're just going to work right into it just go right through the space and work a single crochet now we're going to start the repeat of row two so in this next single crochet right here we're going to work a uh, shell so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the single crochet and we're going to work one double crochet chain one back into the same stitch one double crochet chain one Back into the same stitch one double crochet so that is our shell it's double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet okay and then what we're gonna do is single crochet into the next chain five space right here like that and now we are going to work a chain of five one two three four 
five. And then again, we're gonna to go to the next chain five space and single crochet. There we go. And that is what we're gonna repeat now for row two. Starting off here, re starting re repeating from the shell. So we start right here into this next single crochet and we're gonna work the shell. So we're gonna go into it and we're gonna work one double, chain one. Go back in, one double, chain one, back in, one double, just like that. And then we're going to put a single crochet into the next chain five space. So right into the space, single. And then we chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and single crochet into the next chain five space again over here. Like that. And then we start our repeat again, starting with our shell. So into the next single crochet, we do our shell. So we work our double crochet, chain one. Back in the same stitch, double crochet, chain one. Back into the same stitch, double crochet. And then we work a single crochet into the next chain five space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And single crochet into the next chain five space, like that. And then we repeat again, starting with our shell into the next single crochet. So we're gonna repeat this pattern until we get near the end of the row and I'll meet back up with you. All right, I'm coming to the end of row two and I just did a shell right here into this single crochet and I have this chain five left with a single crochet on the end. What I'm gonna do is single crochet into this chain space right here and then I'm going to chain two and double crochet into the last stitch. And that was how we will end row two, like that. And now you should have, if you're falling off me, 20 of these shells. All right, let's begin row three. Row three, we are going to chain one and turn our work. And now we are gonna put a single crochet back into that same stitch. So right here is where we're gonna put our single crochet in that double crochet from the previous row. Go right into it and put a single crochet like that. Now we're gonna work, <clears throat> we're gonna start our repeat. So we are going to work a shell into the next single crochet. So it's this single crochet right here beside this shell. See this one? We're gonna go ahead and work a shell into it. So we're gonna go into it and we're gonna work our shell. So we're gonna work our double, chain one. Our double, chain one. And then our double, just like that. And now we are going to put a single crochet in the middle stitch of our next shell. So our shell has three double crochets. So that middle one, we're gonna go ahead and put a single crochet into it like that. And then we're gonna go and we're going to shell into the next single crochet, which is right here. So we're skipping, here's the shell from, from the previous row. We single crocheted in the top of the middle one skip this double crochet as that's part of this shell and this single crochet right here that's in this chain space we're going to work a shell into it so double chain one double chain one double and just like that and then we are going to work a single crochet into the next chain five space. So right here, just like that. 
and that is going to be the, the repeat for row three. So what you can see is we have put two shells beside this shell from the previous row. So let's go ahead and repeat it again. So we're going to start off with the next single crochet, working into it and putting a shell. So it's right beside this, this shell from the previous row. So it's this single crochet right here. So go right on into it and work a double, chain one. Double, chain one, double, all into the same stitch. Now we're going to work a single crochet in the middle of this shell from the previous row. So this double crochet that's in the middle, single crochet into it. And then we're going to work a shell into the next single crochet. So if you kind of just move your stitches around, you'll see that single crochet that from the previous row that's in this chain five space right here. We're going to work a shell into it. So we're going to double, chain one, double, chain one, and double, like that. And then we are going to put a single crochet into the next chain five space. And that ends the repeat for row three. Let's do it one more time. So we'll start off by putting a shell into the next single crochet. So right here, next to this shell, put a shell into it. Double, chain one. Double, chain one. And then double. And then we put a single crochet in the middle double crochet of the shell from the previous row. So this one right here. And now we're going to put a shell into the next single crochet. So you can see it right here. If you use your fingers, pull the shell over to the side. Right there it is. Go ahead and put a shell into it. Double chain one. Double chain one. Double. And then we single crochet into the next chain five space. So this is the pattern we're going to repeat for row three. And if you see, you're starting to make, kind of looks like a, car, a heart a little bit, I guess. But we're going to continue this pattern until we get to near the end of the row. And I'll meet back, meet back up with you. All right, I'm coming to the end of row three. And I did a shell there into my last single crochet. So what now, what, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just skip this chain two space here on the end and I am going to end with a single crochet into the last stitch. So right here on the end, single crochet. That'll end row three and now you should have 40 of these shells this, this round. Don't remember, don't count the ones from the previous round, just the ones from this round. All right, so now we're gonna start row four. We are going to chain one and turn, and we're gonna put a double crochet right here back into this very first stitch. It's actually the single crochet from the previous row. Double crochet right back into it. And then we're going to do a chain of two, like that. And then we are gonna start the repeat of row four. So we are going to single crochet in the middle double crochet of this shell from the previous row so this one right here we're going to put a single crochet into it like that and then the next single crochet which is right here it's actually the uh if you go down two rows right here it's the single crochet that's in the middle of this shell, we're going to put a shell into it. So we're going to go into the single crochet and we're going to work a double, chain one, a double, chain one, and a double, just like that. And then we are going to single crochet into the middle of the next double crochet of the next shell. Just like that. 
and now what we're going to do is make a chain five space so we're going to chain five one two three four five just like that and single crochet into the middle of the next shell so right here and that will end the repeat of row four so let's go ahead and do it again so we're going to start off by putting a shell right here into the next single crochet which is actually on top of this shell so right there work into it double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet just like that then we're going to single crochet into the middle stitch of the next shell like that do that then we're going to chain five one two three four five and we are going to single crochet into the middle stitch of the next shell like that and we'll start again we're going to shell into the next single crochet so we're just repeating again double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet we're going to single crochet into the middle stitch of the next shell chain five one two three four five and double crochet into the middle stitch of the next shell so we're going to repeat this pattern until we get to near the end of the row all right so what you can see now is we have made like a big giant shell out of four minis so it's kind of like a diamond now i guess a little bit egg shape diamond shape anyways that's what we're going for so now we're just going to keep repeating this until we get to the end of the row all right i'm coming to the end of the row and i just finished out a shell and then i single crocheted into the double crochet of the middle of the next shell and now i'm going to end the row by chaining two and putting a double crochet into the last stitch and that'll end row four and if you count the shells on row four you should have a total of 20. all right so now we're going to start row five which is the last repeat of the row and or the last repeat of the whole shawl it's a very easy repeat so what we're going to do is chain one and turn our work and we are going to go back into the same stitch and we are going to a single crochet like that and we're going to chain five one two three four five and then we are going to put a single crochet into the middle stitch of our next shell so right there and we're going to chain five one two three four five and we're going to put a single crochet into right through the next chain five space just like that and that's kind of what we're going to repeat now we're going to chain five one two three four five and we're going to put a single crochet into the middle stitch of our next shell And then we're going to chain five single crochet right here into our next chain five space repeat it again chain five single crochet in the middle stitch of our next shell chain five single crochet into our next chain five space repeat it again chain five single crochet into the middle stitch of our next shell chain five 
single crochet into the next chain five space and this is what we're going to repeat until we get to the end of the row so it's just um, chain spaces on this row five okay coming to the end of row five I just single crocheted in the middle stitch of my sh last shell so I'm going to chain five and I'm going to end by single crocheting into my last stitch here on the end just like that and that'll end row five so that's it now I know it don't look like much now but the more rows you do the chain spaces will become more pronounced so I did mine for a total till it reached about 20 inches now you can do yours as long as you like so remember you just keep repeating rows two three four and five and i will put timestamps below in the description box um, for the beginning of, of row two three four and five so you can just click on those so you don't have to keep rewinding me and listening to me um, you can just click on those and it'll take you back to the beginning of each row that but don't worry in no time you will have it down it's actually very easy to do once you get it down trust me you can do it and is it ever oops ever beautiful especially in that latte cake oh that's backwards i always show it backwards latte cakes is gorgeous but it'll look good in any any yarn that you choose so thanks for watching everybody remember hit that subscribe button that like button that share button leave me a comment below let me know what you think about it tell me if you're gonna make it tell me what yarn you're gonna use i'm interested i think it's gorgeous Check out all my other hundreds of tutorials, okay? See you guys next time. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye, guys.